Choo Choo, back again. And, uh, and today, we're going to get started in vaults. Now, as you can see, I've, uh, I've done my fair share of digging, and, uh, and I've found some cool things in vaults. I've done a good amount of searching, and, uh, and we found some very, very cool things. And look at all these pigs. There was a bunch of sheep here, too, but I have mas since massacred said sheep, or at least the majority of them. Um, probably not the best idea, because I think farms are going to be fairly important. So, uh, um, as you can see, I built, a, I built some shelter. Uh, very important, obviously. The base of Minecraft, building shelter. Nothing too fancy, just some windows, some cobble, and some wood. And some fences, of course. Gotta have the fences to make it look nice. Alright, so we'll head on in, and I'll give you guys the grand tour first. Though, um, I spent a good two hours underground digging, and this is what I came up with. Stuff here. Um, also, some other... I got six diamonds, so we did get some diamonds. Um, got a lot of redstone and some sulfur. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is for. But uh, but I'm sure we'll discover it along the way. I also des decided I needed a lot of wool. Um, and since this is not tech it, there is not EE involved, you have to go and find those sheep yourself and massacre them yourself. Same with the pigs. There's a lot of pigs out here, though, and they keep procreating and making baby pigs. As you can see, there's one out there right now. Um, but I can see how farms and... Uh, are going to be important. Growing crops also going to be important. Um, but this is my before I give you the grand tour of my house, which could take hours. I mean, I have uh, built a grand a grand palace here. We're going to get copper ore, iron ore, and uh, tin ore smelting. Um, some music loud. Get out of here! I don't know that seems to have changed itself back. Um, after a fair amount of digging, it seems like copper is a dime a dozen. There is tons of copper underground. There's tons of tin, but not that much iron. Um, I couldn't really find a ton of iron. Seems a little more rare in volts than it is in Tekkit or the original Minecraft or any other mod I've ever played. Um, it seems fairly rare. Uh, kind of like, uh, what's a good equation? Iron is kind of like redstone on, uh, and tech it. A little harder to find, a little d deep, deeper down, but once you find it, you know, you'll find enough of it. Nothing to worry about here, but we'll let this start smelting up, because we're going to need lots of copper, lots of tin, and uh, and lots of iron to get started here. So we got our basic house, and, uh, and downstairs, I have a nice little room down here where I can start producing energy. Now this is uh, kind of like tech it, where first you want to get shelter, and you want to get a food source, and uh, as you can see here, I got a lot of raw pork chops, which I have yet to cook up, and uh, I got a lot, of, some coal, uh, not as much as I would like to have. I'd like to have a little more coal, because the first thing um, that we're going to do is we're going to build a power source, and our power source is going to be a coal generator. Um, is the first thing I screwed around with. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how it works. I know how it works, but I'm not entirely sure if I remember the whole process. So, uh, so we'll try to we'll try to do things upright for you here. All right. So this stuff's smelting here, but uh, well, that's well, that's smelting. I want to show you guys something, and uh, we'll use cobblestone to show you um, a very cool, a very cool tool in uh, in volts that uh, that you can use and is very very effective and very nice to have. So first, you start off by making an axe, a pickaxe. And a shovel. The very basics of digging, you know, everywhere you, no matter where you're going, you're going to need a pickaxe, a shovel, and an axe. You know, you're going to need them, um, but in, uh, in vaults, they have changed these into one awesome tool, a paxel. That's right, it's a paxel. It's a stone paxel. Um, you can, and just like uh, pickaxes and whatnot, there are different qualities. There's stone, there's a uh, Iron, I think there's also a diamond Paxels, there might be some like emeralds or whatever, I don't know for sure, I haven't really looked. All I know is that Paxels are pretty cool, and uh, they only last for 131 HP, it's quite a few swings though, it's a good, I don't know, it's a lot of swings. It's like 163 swings or something, or 263 swings, I don't remember exactly, but it's pretty nice. As you can see, I got my mini map on the bottom right, and I have this cool little thing that tells me what things are. So when I'm underground and I see a new ore, or, or something that I don't know what it is, because there's a lot of stuff I don't know what it is, um, I will look and see. So you got your facts installed from my last video. Um, today, after you build your shelter and get that stuff going, we're going to make... A power source. So again, coal generator is going to be what we're going to use, just like we would in Tech It. Um, made a lot differently though. So let's go ahead and pull out the copper, and uh, one more bar of tin, the tin, and 
and one more bar of iron, and the iron. Okay. And we're going to start off by making bronze dust. Now, bronze dust is not like tech. You don't have to do any maceration, which is nice. I don't know how much I need. How much bronze do I need? Um, I don't think I need a ton. I think I was like seven? I want to say it was seven. Okay, so this makes one bronze dust, and so there, we just made seven bronze dust, and if you put this in a smelter, you make bronze, obviously, and we'll also need steel. Now, steel is, uh, is pretty easy, and to make steel, we're going to need coal and iron, and we take coal, I think we need ten... Okay, I think we needed 10 steel, so, and you make steel dust. Surrounding coal, um, around iron, makes steel dust. I think you can also make steel paxels if you make steel bars, um, which is, which is pretty nice to have, so. They're, they're pretty hard. They also mine the most difficult to, to find, uh, the, the, the hardest of all materials. Well, not the hardest, they mine up to diamond. They don't mine, uh, obsidian, though. So, alright, so we, we have, we want to get our steel dust smelting. And uh, we'll put a couple uh, couple pieces of coal in there. We'll pull this out as well, and we'll get our bronze dust smelting. And we'll wait for that to smelt up here. And uh, while that's going, now this is not like Tech It where things magically appear. In, in Volts, you actually have to make batteries, and you have to make motors and wiring, just like Rue was Red Power, anything like that. So um, let's start off by making some copper wire. And uh, copper wire is pretty simple to make. It's sort of like Tekkit, but instead of using rubber, we're going to be insulating it with wool. Now, I have a bunch of wool. Um, I knew I was going to need wool, so I went out and massacred all the sheep in the area, and I don't think I left any alive, which was a little worried about, because I'm going to need a lot more wool, and I might have to go coax some sheep back over here. Um, I think there are some over in the forest over there, so maybe, maybe we'll be okay. But let's start off by making some copper wire. We're not going to need a ton. Um, I think we're gonna need I don't know, at least two or three. Let's uh, I don't want to use all my wool, so I might need it for something else. Um, but let's get some copper wires. All right, so just like uh, insulated copper wire, 18 of them, and uh, and we need to make some motors. So that that's what's next is now that we've got our wire, we need motors just like you would think there would be in any sort of generator. You obviously need motors. So let's get our 10 steel bars here. I think it's 10. I want to say it's 10, because I think we need... Maybe it was only 4. It was only 4. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm getting something mixed up with it. But that's alright, we got our steel ingots, we got our bronze ingots, that's fine. Um... Next, we need to make a motor, and I believe a motor was this. What the hell was that? Copper wire. Resistance, uh, 50 milliohms. Wow, this actually uses amperage and ohms. I did not even know that. That's pretty cool. Um, so we got our insulated copper wire here, and then we'll put steel ingots in the middle. Put a tin bar in the center. Or wait, iron bar in the center? Iron... It's iron. Yes, iron bar in the center, and we make a motor. So there's our motor. We got our motor. We got our wiring. Next, we're going to need batteries to store that power. So um, we're going to need redstone and coal, of course, and then we're also going to need a bunch of tin ingots. And it's kind of made somewhat like the RE batteries in Tekkit. So we're going to need redstone, and I think I got some coal. I do have coal, and uh, I hope I have enough tin. I think I do. I think I need... I don't think I need four. No, it can't be four. It's got to be three. It's got to be three, because I think there's three in, in the recipe for the bat box. Three, one, two, three. Okay. And uh, one, two, three. This on the bottom, actually. One, two, three. No, it ain't it. Maybe this is... Yeah. And we make what looks a lot like a Duracell battery, but, uh, but we make three of these. Oh, and this actually measures in Joule, which is the... Um, the measurement of in, of work done. So that's kind of cool. So uh, we have our three batteries here. We got our motor, and we have our wires. So next, we're going to put it all together into a good old-fashioned coal generator. 
So we're going to need our bronze. Oh, this is what we needed the bronze for. Yes. And uh, we're going to need our bronze, and we're going to need a motor. And uh, I don't remember exactly how it goes. Well, actually, maybe I do. I think it's like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then a motor. And then... Oh, oh, we need a furnace. We need a furnace, I think. Furnace. Motor. Bronze. Uh... Uh, oh, there we go. Coal generator. There we go. That's what we need. We got the good old-fashioned coal generator. And next, we're going to need a place to store that power. And this is where the six steel bars come into play um, that I needed the ten for now that I, I remember. Now I remember. So we're going to take the steel bars, go straight across here, go straight across here, and then we're going to take our three Duracells. And I'm probably going to get sued for saying that. And we make a battery box. Okay, so we got our coal generator, we got our battery box, and we have our insulated copper wire to wire them together. And uh, let's get this stuff in here back cooking. Cooking it up again. Is this done? Yeah, this one's done. Okay, and let's head downstairs to where we're going to put our coal energy. I'm um, not the cleanest type of power in the world, coal. But, uh, but it's not too bad, and this is not like Tekkit, where if you put two machines next to each other, um, they, they're powered. No, you actually have to wire them together. Okay, so here we have our, our coal. It's just so happy. It's so happy. It's not generating any power. It will has an output of 120 voltage, and this also has an, uh, an, an output of 120 voltage. So this is perfect. So in our battery box, what we're going to do is we are going to take coal, and I left it upstairs because I'm a big noob. Or not our battery box. And our coal generator, obviously, we're going to take coal and we're going to put it in the generator. And we're going to generate power from that coal. Just like you would with steam or anything else. Um, so we take this power, this coal, we put it in here. And it should start generating. I Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 I put these in the wrong spots. I hope, I don't know if I hit these with a pickaxe, if they will break. I think it broke. Um, nope. So they didn't break apart. I've actually never broke them before. That's, that's a good thing to know, though, that they do not break apart. So, uh, let's replace the floor here, and then we'll dig out a hole in the wall back here. And then we'll put our wiring down. And then we'll put our coal generator and our battery box. And now we'll put coal in here. And now it should start generating power. Please start generating power. Hmm. I don't know why they're not working. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it has like a wind-up time? It should be working. I don't know why it wouldn't be. It was working earlier, and I don't think they had any sort of wind-up time. Is this not hooked up? Aha! For some reason, this thing is backward. See, this is where it go the power... There we go! Okay, so this is where the power goes in is at the, is at the uh, Pentagon, which Sfax uses. So if I take this and put it like here, there we go. There we go. That's how we want it. Just like that. And this would be the output. Okay, so that's perfect. Um, let's replace the wall. Okay. And here we go. We're putting out lots of watts. Lots and lots of watts. And here we're receiving it, and this will store it, just like it would in, it's kind of hard to read, but just like it would in Tekkit. And, and then you're started. You got power. Um, you built your coal generator. You built your battery box. You got power. Now, what are you going to do with that power? Well, you're going to look at the spider who's in the window, and that's all you're going to do. We're done. The series is over. Um, don't even think about playing any more of the game, because there's no more of the game to play. This is it. Oh, I gotcha. I fooled you up. Good. There's a lot more of the game to play, of course. But, uh, but that's for another time. Um, today, 
we got started, we got power up and running. Um, next, on the next episode, we're going to show you what you can do with that power because there is lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things that you can do with coal power. But uh, but these are good things to get you started. Um, another thing that's important to remember is, is that there is no EE. There is no infinite ways to collect energy. Now, even if you could collect a lot of energy, you would have no way to condense it into other forms of energy. This is pretty much basic Minecraft with a bunch of really cool energy mods in it. To make things a little bit easier for you, I believe there are a couple ways to collect materials and there are cool sorting machines and things like that. You can use conveyor belts. There's all kinds of cool things that you can do in volts. And uh, I think the, probably the coolest one is the, the the nuclear program, the fission creators, the th the um, the thorium, there's a thorium generators, there's all kind of antimatter generators, all kinds of cool stuff. So, uh, we'll all, of course, we'll be taking a look at all those things, but uh, in due time, in due time. Till then, um, just keep an eye out. You got your power up and running. Um, at this time, I would probably say just go and replenish your materials because uh, you're going to eat through coal really, really quickly with this type of generation. So, having lots of coal is not going to be a bad thing for anybody. So, uh, you're generating power. You will not. It will not eat coal infinitely. It will only eat coal until the battery box is full. And as you can see, she got a ways to go. This is the input. That is the output. Anyway, I've been Chooch. This has been Vol.